Hi, this is TK Viper and today we're going to look at a new stabilizer. This is a 3-axis gimbal made by Hohem. It is their latest model called X2 iSteady. This new version comes with a remote control. The first version, the X, didn't. So just by looking at the box you can see that it is a portable gimbal. Make the moment, enjoy it. That's what they say. So some key features, very light, 3-axis, remote control, face tracking, power bank. On the back, we can tell that it is uh, maybe a little bit taller than the smartphone. Here are all the accessories that come with this thing. We'll look at them in the video later on. This is produced in Shenzhen, China. I think they have many factories that produce smartphones and other uh, gadgets. I like the fact that they give you a disclaimer that a smartphone is not included in this thing. So let's open it up and check it out. I like the colors that they're using. Alright, so let's start unboxing it. It took me a while to figure out that there's a magnet on one of these flaps. So, I think that's uh, pretty useful if you want to store your device after you're done using it. We are greeted with a simple startup guide. You must download their app to be able to use this. You have to activate the device and register it. Four steps to set up your camera and numbers to call when you need service. And there's the QR code in case you need to, to scan it for more information. In this little packaging we have some stuff, some accessories and the manual. I like how they added a little pad here just in case it scratches your, uh, your gimbal. I find that highly unlikely. The manual is very comprehensive, many, many pages. We're just going to look at the table of contents and the QR code in case you need to scan it for more information. In this video, we'll go through most of the features, so really, we don't need the manual. Here we have the carrying pouch that they include. Very nice. It's quite small, around uh, seven inches long and about three and a half inches wide so this thing is definitely portable and pocketable it folds up like that all right let's look at the remote control it's very light made of plastic and uh, it has all the buttons that corresponds to the buttons on the gimbal on the back there is the opening for Changing the battery, we have a switch there and holes for a strap. So definitely this is easy to get lost, so be careful. Next we have the tripod, a very small tripod. And this thing is very light, so it makes it feel like it's cheap, but I think uh, it should do its job. Got the Hohem thing there. and. Uh, Yes, yeah, smaller than I expected. And the device charges by a USB-C cable, which is a nice touch. So glad they didn't go with micro USB. And here we have it. The X2 iSteady. But first, we're missing one more thing, and that is the wrist strap. It was hiding here in this box. So high quality and it matches the color of the pouch. Next, let's look at the device itself, the gimbal. It fits in the hand nicely. The handle is quite short, about four inches, I would say. You got your thread there to mount your tripod. We got a power button, a record button, and a joystick and some lights. On this side we have 
the charging port, USB-C charging port, and a reset hole that you can punch with the, the pin to reset the thing. There is the, the zoom slider, holes for your lanyard or your wrist strap. Alright, let's just pop this up like this and then lock it in place by turning the knob here clockwise. Now it's stiff. This thing won't won't fold down. Let's look at the overall quality. Other than the two little plates here that are made of aluminum, I think the rest of the body is made from hard plastic. So that's why it's so light. 259 grams. So this is the direction you should have it when you mount your phone. It holds up to a 280 gram phone, so I think uh, iPhone 13 Max should work. So it stretches like this. It's got the X back there. So for this video I'm using an Oppo phone. This is a 6 inch uh, screen so it's a pretty big phone. Almost like the iPhone XR size. So first thing you need to balance the phone. So if it tilts to one side then it's not balanced. Let's try to do our best job for this video. So usually I hold the motor in the back to check if it's balanced. You can also shift the the clamps to the left or right to balance it when it's in the portrait mode. So now it's pretty much balanced. We'll turn it on by holding down the power button for half a second. Notice that it does not work because we need to download the app to activate it. So go ahead and install it. We'll go through the steps very quickly. Tap open once it's finished installing. And then allow some stuff to work access to your photo library also you gotta tap on whenever it says to agree to terms and conditions allow it to use your camera allow it to use your microphone and also allow it to use your location if you don't it won't work all right next tap the start button and this will try to pair it with the device so turn it on and it should show up in the list of devices on your phone and tap it to start pairing it. All right, tap on pair to allow the pairing. Once that's done, you have to tap the start button again to go into a registration form. So do you want to activate it now? Yes. And then Toggle the switch to the right, tap on next, and here is where you enter information to make an account. Once that's done, hit the register button, and it's activating, and you see it works now, it's stable. Tap on home to go back to the home menu, and then tap start again to start up the camera app. So the controls on the gimbal only works when you're using their app. So here are some instruction, some filters, beauty filters. Next one is a gesture control. So if you make a peace sign next to a face, it takes a picture or records the video. Face tracking, object tracking can be turned on here and more settings if you need it. By default, only the horizontal axis is locked. So if you turn it, it'll follow your hand. If you tilt it up and down, it'll follow your hand. And notice how the motor is to the right side, so it does not block your camera, even if you have a wide angle view camera. All right, so now it's in the pan and tilt mode. It follows you when you pan and when you tilt but locks it when you move the horizontal axis. So this way your video will always be uh, horizontally leveled. Whenever you are off center or at a weird angle, you can double tap the function key or the power button twice to bring it back to the center to realign. Double tap. 
right here and it goes back one more time double tap if you single tap it'll switch between the portrait and landscape modes this is the power button and next to it we have the record button one push to start recording and one push to stop let's check out the zoom slider slide up to zoom in they look, they look a bit choppy I wonder if it's the phone this is a cheap phone by the way for extra setting like the working mode you can tap here right now we're in the pan tilt mode the first mode so you see only the horizontal axis is locked so this will not move the camera otherwise it moves the camera it follows you the second mode is the pan mode so it will only pan it won't tilt so two axes are locked the vertical and the horizontal axes only when you turn the phone it follows your hand notice if I move it up and down tilt it it won't move to a certain degree because if you do it too much it has to move so this will allow you to get a very uh, stable video that shoots in one direction and doesn't move much the third mode is locking everything all the axes so now even when you twist it left and right the thing will stay locked so if you want a steady view this is the best mode and finally we have the follow mode the all follow mode so now even if you go this way it's gonna tilt it turn it upside down you can definitely get some interesting shots in this mode so you can also switch modes using shortcut keys so hold down the shooting button and tap it once or twice or three times or four times to jump between the modes so in the second mode you'll see the light flashing twice there that tells you you're in the second mode so hold it down tap three times and it goes to the third mode and similarly the light will flash three times one two three four and we're in the all follow mode one two three four that shows you we are in this mode so I usually like to be in the pan mode locking two axes you can turn off uh, some uh, features here like the roll auto rotation we'll look at that later on so tapping on the filters we'll see some of the stuff here we got some strange filters some uh, classic filters hand gestures just do a peace sign next to a face and it will record or snap a picture for you we have time-lapse mode video photo and the moment mode and these are pre-made templates basically it moves the camera for you and takes an interesting video you got some uh, interesting modes here panorama inception you can choose the degree of turning so let's choose 270 and tap the start button and it will start recording for you three two one and it starts to record it's gonna be boring here because I only have a chair in front of me and because we chose the 270 degree mode it's gonna capture some of the motor you can cut that out later on in post so let's preview our video double tap to go back to the center so imagine the person being there I think it's a lot more interesting than this all right that's the inception template there are other templates you can use they all come with music you can also choose your own music the dolly 
Zoom mode is interesting too. Fantastic rotation, follows the rhythm. Smart time lapse, panoramic. All right. So in the future, they might add more templates for you to use. So if you twist this too much, it will auto rotate. So you can now use this to kind of take a low angle view, like your like dog or something. You can turn off the auto rotate in settings. All right, next we're going to try on the tripod. It should hold it upright, steady. And now you can make a video of yourself, a vlog, or take a panoramic shot. I think you can even uh, program it to take a, a shot that follows a path. So let's check out the pouch. Put this in there. Fits uh, just perfectly. The tripod won't fit. Now you can just put this in your pocket, over your pants or jeans. It's quite small. It can fit there. So to lock it, make sure you push it all the way down until it snaps. And now the thing won't wiggle at all. So that's a nice feature. Some gimbals wiggle around and it's very annoying. And now we'll compare it to my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. You can see it's much bigger. The tripod is twice as long and it's a lot heavier as well. This one is 259 grams. The DJI must be at least 380 grams. But the good point about this is the trigger on the back there. You can use that to realign your camera and also lock the axes. And I love the handle here, it's like a gun. That's my trusty DJI gimbal. But we'll test out the new X2 and see if it's uh, as steady. But definitely a lot more portable and that might be a selling point for some people. Alright, let's test out the X2 iSteady by Hohem during this rain walk see if it's as stable as the DJI to me it looks the same very stable even as I'm going up and down stairs which is the the best test for a gimbal if it's stable there it should be stable anywhere else the only thing I miss about the DJI is the trigger on the back. You can use that to lock all the axes, adjust your hand position, and then unlock it and resume in the new hand position. With the Hohem X2, you would have to use the joystick to move the camera back to a position that you like, that's comfortable for your hand. And sometimes the joystick goes too fast or too slow and makes your film not as smooth. All right, from this point on, I'll just let you check out the footage and enjoy the sound of the rain in Japan. And I'll come back at the end of the video.
All right, guys, that's my review of the new Hohem X2 iSteady 3-axis gimbal that is very pocketable and portable. If you want it, you can click the link in the description box that will tell the website that I referred you to them. There's a 10% discount code too, just use that. I think you get 5% for your first purchase through the website, so that's 15% off. The price for this gimbal is 89 US dollars, I think uh, about 10,000 yen. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and go to my other channels, TK Viper, TK Viper Tech, and also Japan Rainwalker TK Viper. All right, I'll see you in the next video.